Frankie, you debut ready to win in uh, race number two on uh, on Sunday, class three over the 1200 metres. Uh, Three-time winner out of New Zealand. What's he shown you so far? Uh, well to win. Uh, his uh, uh, horse looks quite good and uh, he's how good on the dirt. So um, uh, this time I just put him on, on, on the dirt to see. He's actually trialled well on the turf as well, and all his three wins in New Zealand were on the grass. Why are you going um, all weather first time with him? Um, I trialled two times on the dirt. He looks good, and uh, at this moment he's a little bit keen. So I think uh, all the track, 1200, fast pace should be, at this moment, suitable for him. And as far as the blinkers are concerned, he wore the blinkers in New Zealand, so you're happy to start with him in the, in the headgear as well? Yeah, yeah. I try. Uh, Bring us on trial, so he trial good also. And what are your expectations for him uh, debuting on Sunday? I got a good draw. I I think he can uh, follow the pace and uh, to see. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, uh, trial and then the race a little bit different. So I hope he can uh, have a good result. Anton, we've got blotting paper in race uh, number four. Good run from him first up this season. Yeah, very good run. I like. I perform good with this horse many times. I like him. Uh, the distance in the track uh, looks good for him. He already performed only one on, on this track, so we'll be happy. We have, we'll get a good road for this day. Did he feel like he'd come on for the run, fitness-wise? Yeah, he's a, he's a one pace horse. Uh, he he likes going in front, and uh, he's like this. He performed the best, so that's probably the plan for, for this Sunday. Because last year, when he won second up, which he is on, on Sunday, he was he dictated the race. Um, there looks to be a bit of speed in there as well, so you, you'll try and push forward and be positive again? Yeah, let, let's see, of course, a little bit speed in the race. Maybe some two other horses can go in front, so let's see which one is the more fast. But uh, I think the plan is to jump well and try to go in front. But of course, I don't kill the horse for going in front. If the pace is too fast, we can sit again at top. But he seems a very honest horse in this grade, on this surface. He, he always gives his best. Yeah, exactly. He always gives his best, so that's very good and he's a very honest horse. Your English is very good, but Richard's French is also very good as well. When he gives you the instructions, is it in French, English, or a, a mixture of the two? In French, yeah, he is in French, and he's happy to, to. I'm happy to hear some French sometimes. It's good to, to hear the country language. Joe, Sky Darcy back at the track on Sunday in the Celebration Cup. Um, nice to be jumping back on board last year's Derby winner. How's he been? He's been great. He's he trialled not long ago, and he gave me such a good feel on that. I think we're looking good to go back to the races. Just a starting point for him, obviously, 1,400 metres. Um, but he's going to be competitive all the same. Well, no, I don't, I don't mind about the distance at all. He has won 1,200 metres, 1,400 miles, 2,000. So he seems to be a versatile type of a horse. Um, even though if 1,400 might not be his best distance, he's got a fresh pair of legs at the moment, and I think he's just going to be able to deliver his best. As far as the trial was concerned, um, did he feel very different uh, to when you were riding him last year? Has he matured much through the off-season? No, he just felt as good as you could always wish. He's, he was quite a mature type of a horse last season and uh, he didn't have to improve that much psychologically and physically wise to be where we would want him to be. He's in good shape, he's going back to the races and I have plenty of faith in this horse. I think he's going to be able to do very well this season. Do you have a gut feeling as to what will happen after Sunday? Obviously, a lot will depend on how he runs, but whether you'll be going up in trip or down in trip if you're heading towards the internationals? Well, it's, it's a question that Cass will be able to answer, but my feeling is that he's going to step up in distance to a mile. Um, I, I would be very surprised if, if Cass will step him up to even further than that. Um, and I honestly think a mile will be his best distance. So. It's no doubt one of those horses that we get very excited about. Later on the cards, uh, we got five elements uh, making his debut as well. Now, he's another horse out of New Zealand. He's won a couple of group races um, as well. Has he been showing you plenty in his homework? Uh, this horse, when he come to Hong Kong, is only two years old. And uh, still look like a, a, a little baby. And uh, have a break. And this season, he looks a bit better. And uh, trial two times. And uh, Jockey said uh, he's um, ready to race, so I just uh, race him uh, on Sunday. So uh, he, I think he got a, a ability, so we can know after Sunday. <laughs> he showed some good speed in his turf trial, um, but on the all weather you dropped him in. Was that just to teach him something? What will the tactics be on the weekend? Uh, look, uh, the last trial, he just jumped a little bit slow. <laughs> 
And uh, I think he got some gate speed, so maybe he will can uh, jump and maybe lead or second, third. You mentioned his age as well, so he's just turned three. Um, but as a group winner, he comes in on a high rating. You're giving weight away to, to older horses and a very good one in the sense of packing victory as well. So it's a tough place for him to start on Sunday. Yes, I think so. But anyway, hard to say. Uh, we don't know which horse in end of the same race, but anyway, uh, the jockey is happy for, for the trial. So just let him, let him race on uh, Sunday. Look, Proud Dragon goes around in uh, race number nine, second last on the program. That's a good effort from him, um, first up, to, uh, to finish fourth behind Gluck Racer. Yeah, it was good. Um, he, was, he was very mature in the running, uh, so that would have uh, brought him on a lot. Stepping up to the 14, I think, will, will be suited much better to him and uh, hopefully a good performance. From barrier eight, um, where do you see yourself settling? Because he sort of settled, he had a good run last time, didn't he, down on the fence and finished off strongly. Is he that type of horse that will get back and run on, do you think? Yeah, look, he, he did run on lo uh, well last time, draw eight, a bit of a, a sticky draw, uh, a bit of luck in running, and ended up hopefully midfielder somewhere around there, and, uh, and uh, you, you, you should run on. His wins in New Zealand, or his win in New Zealand, was over 1,300 metres, but just said before, you think the step up from 12 to 1,400 is a positive for him? I, def I definitely think the 14, uh, he would go better there than he would in the 12, so uh, yeah, I think the 14's up his alley. This is a ride for Casper Founds as well. You had a, uh, a good night on Wednesday night with Seven Heavens uh, for Casper. He's been supporting you well. It must be uh, good to have now two wins on the board early in the campaign. Yeah, it's great to have, have support uh, from Casper. It's, uh, obviously, he's a strong stable and uh, it's the type of the sp support that you need to, to sort of get going. Killer B in the last race, he's a horse to get very excited about. Very much. <laughs> he's a horse that has shown a lot of ability has been winning races very impressively in circus since that sometimes horses just come win and he was able to still do it. So all these things that he has done last season gets us very excited for sure. He starts off over 1,200 metres again. If you'd be happy with his preparation, his trials and his track work leading up to Sunday? The, the preparation has been good. He's been actually much more mature than he was last season. Uh, in one or two races, he gave, a bit, gave us a little bit of a hard time to walk into the gate and this time he's been more forward we, we learn a little bit about the horse we're trying to do a few things different with him and he's been responding very well or in regards to his fitness i don't think all the best horse at the moment they wouldn't be 100 percent quite yet neither this guy killer b but he's he's pretty fit to go back to the races and um, i'd be very very surprised if he goes there and run a bad race i know you can only ride your horse but nabu attacks in the field as well carrying the top weight what are your thoughts on on him he was a good winner first up this season well he should be the favorite and he, he's gonna have to sweat blood to beat a killer b killer b is a good horse as well and they're certainly gonna make the, the, the race card of today being a very interesting card so i'm glad to be seen on one of the best horse on the day and long term obviously the four-year-old series for killer b that's what we're looking at uh, i guess so He's no doubt going to deserve an opportunity to be heading up to that, those three years old, uh, four years old series. And if he's able to run the distance, he might be one of the favorite for the derby at the moment.